right here. Imagine a man who is diagnosed with schizophrenia and lives in a psychiatric institution. And on the other side of me, imagine a man who wants to be a family man and loves to take walks in the forest. Who of these two men you think is more trustworthy? When you think the psychiatric patient is more trustworthy, please move your hand to your left. When you think the family dad is more trustworthy, please move your hand to your right. You may notice that uh, when you don't agree with your neighbor, your hands might meet. <laughs> when this happens, please shake hands with one another. <laughs> I can see some people shaking hands. <laughs> this is a good thing. Shaking hands is always a good thing, because it's the first step in meeting others. By meeting others, we can make a better decision whether someone should be trusted. Talking to others can result in more grounded trust and less ungrounded distrust. This talking to enhanced trust sounds quite simple, and it is. But still, even at the university, I see many people buying their lunch without even saying hello to the cashier. So maybe we can all start tomorrow by just asking the cashier how his day is. Uh, I started talking to others more often since I met Eric. I met him through a buddy project. In these kind of projects, you're brought together with someone from a different culture, a different age, or a different socio-economic status. The first thing that I knew about Eric was that he was diagnosed with schizophrenia. And so I was a bit reserved in giving him all of my trust. But my tendency couldn't be more wrong, because when we started talking, he smiled friendly, and he spoke like, like everyone here would do. He is also the one who wants to be the family dad and loves to take walks in the forest. And above all, Eric absolutely is trustworthy. I was quite shocked when I noticed my initial ungrounded tendency that I didn't give him all of my trust. I think we all have some kind of free judgment. Maybe you even noticed that you, like me, didn't expect Eric to be such a warm person. Now, Obviously, I have all convinced you to participate in a buddy project. <laughs> but I'll tell you something even better. You can already start tomorrow by talking to the cashier, and even today, in the break, in a minute from now. Please start talking with each other, because this can be a first step to more grounded mutual trust. Thank you. <laughs>